You'd think the freezing temperatures would make things slow down for the city, but did you know it's an ideal time for planting trees? We met up with the Public Works Department during the fall tree plant to learn about the process, and there's far more to it than you'd think. Let's go get the inside scoop in this episode of City 101. Hi, I'm Tom Bakke. I work for the uh, Public Works Department for the City of Red Wing. Uh, we're doing our fall uh, tree plant for 2017. Uh, we usually do a fall plant and a spring plant, and, uh, and we're in the process right now of replacing trees that have been removed because of disease or possibly some type of damage, um, or some trees that maybe did not make it from our last tree plant, which has only been three, so we usually have a very good success rate. So you're planting trees in the boulevards and replacing trees that didn't make it, but how do you decide which type of tree to plant where? Uh, years ago, the theory was that uh, in order to make neighborhoods look beautiful, we go down this street with all oaks, down that street with all locusts, down that street with all maples. Um, because of the diseases that have come forth in some of the trees, like the Dutch elm disease, the emerald ash borer, which is here now, uh, there's oak wilt, it's here. Um, we like to diversify our trees now. We don't want two oaks next to each other. Just because if for some reason that one tree got diseased, it can very easily communicate it to the next tree. And the tree planting goes fast. Using cost-effective work crews from ICWIC and Sentence to Serve, they make their way throughout the city planting about 200 trees per year. And with the arrival of the emerald ash borer, that number is likely to increase. So if you're a homeowner who gets a tree planted in your boulevard, consider giving them a helping hand. That second and third year, it's very important to water that young boulevard tree or any other tree you might have in your yard that's young. That's when they're probably the most stressed part of their life is their second and third year. We do have a tool that we can use in the field. It's an iPad that uh, we have a program called Cartograph. And basically, as you see, all these green dots on this screen are trees. Every tree that the city plants is documented using Cartograph. So when a homeowner calls up wondering what type of tree is in their boulevard, Public Works will know the answer with just one click. Not only that, the program also keeps track of when the tree was planted, last trimmed, if it has become diseased, if any treatment has been applied to it, or if it failed. They'll know which type of tree didn't work, so they won't replant the same type of tree again. It's a really useful tool that has reduced redundancy and helps Public Works keep track of tree pests throughout the city. That's the scoop on the fall tree plant and what the city is doing to ensure beautiful boulevard trees for generations to come. Have you got a question you'd like answered by those in the know? Send it to the city through Facebook, our website, or call it in. It just might be the story behind the next episode of City 101.